Hola, mi amigos. Long time no see. Your independent Sensi consultant here. My very first year, my very first fall season, which is the big season for Sensi. Um, so I've been very busy. Haven't had a chance to make a video in a little bit, but I wanted to show you a couple warmers that I got from the Harvest Collection that I wasn't planning to get, but I couldn't handle it. I couldn't resist. So the very first one I'm going to show you is very superstitious. I just couldn't handle it anymore. I had to get it. Every picture I saw made me want it more and more. Without further ado, here we go. This is made out of tin, so if you have kids that you're worried about and you knock it over, not going to break. This might be the only thing that does break, but these are pretty solid and big and thick, as you can see. This has the number four on it, so it will hold four wax cubes. Goes right on the top there. And if you'll notice, this cutie has the look of Dia de los Muertos. Its nose is almost a little heart shape. All the makeup around the eyes, the cute whiskers. It's got the cute skeletal cutouts, and the little paw nails, and the tail has got the bone shape all around, and then the spider. This wicked looking spider that you can have up or down. Some people I've seen put it up on top here. I kind of like it just hanging there. Looks pretty creepy to me. And then you can see it's kind of got a frost of white, like a powdery, and it's um, like, it's been, it's been hammered a little bit and looks a little bit dimpled. And then I will go ahead and turn it on. Oh, just let me show you real quick. It has got the Edison bulb in there. Those are the bulbs that have uh, a nice softer glow to them. They've got a little bit of a yellow sheen. And it's a little bit taller because this is a taller, warmer. So, whoa, let me get it in there right. Um, taller, warmer. So I think the height really helps warm the dish, the wax in the dish on top. So back in you go, dish back on there. And there we go, it's so cool. Let's turn that off. Oh, so bright though. I'll turn it a little bit sideways so you can get the gist of it. Look at the detail in the skeleton, the kitty skeleton there. So nice. I'm super glad I got this. It looks really cool out there with all my Halloween stuff. So then while we are moving on, I also got the Paranormal Pumpkin. Now I had to get this one because the very first day it came out, it sold out. And I was like, really? Should I have gotten it? Oh my gosh. I mean, as a new consultant, I don't know what things I'm supposed to buy right away before they sell out. Therefore, it came back. I was very excited about that and I got it right away. And here we go. There is the really awesome Paranormal Pumpkin Warmer. It is also metal, so if your kids drop it, it's not going to break kids or animals. Because I have heard recently from more than one of my friends that their animal has knocked over one of their warmers and broken it really sad and so this comes off obviously this brown stem up there um bat cutouts this comes off like this and as you can see there's a big hole there so that the scent comes out this also has the thick glass dish to put the wax in and it comes with a standard 25 watt light bulb I did put an orange light bulb in there 
and it's still very, very bright. I thought the clear one was super bright. I could never look at it because it was too bright. I'm even thinking of trying to figure out a different way to get it a little not so bright. But look at the detail on that haunted house. Is that a little kitty in the doorway there? And the trees on the side and then the bats all the way around. So when you're in a proper uh, location, the bats illuminate off the wall. Let me match this up. All right, so let me turn this on. I'm going to turn it sideways, though, because I don't want to blind you. And this is with an orange light bulb, an orange 25-watt light bulb. There's the bats. And look, if I scoot back a little bit, maybe if I hit it just right, I think I can get a bat to illuminate. I'm trying to get it to illuminate on the wall back there. Maybe I need to go lower. Oh, it's not working out. Um, I need a bigger wall, but it is working out up there. Let me turn it some more. Maybe I don't have it turned right. Anyways, you get the gist of it. The bats do illuminate onto the wall. It is awesome. I'm so happy I got these. And now I'm going to show you two of the Bitty Buddies. So these didn't come out right away when all of the um, Harvest Collection came out. And that's because there's been some shipping issues, not just for Scentsy, but for all types of companies and businesses. Shipping has been a big problem. And so there was a delay on several items due to shipping issues. And these were two of the items. These are two of the Scentsy Bitty Buddies. And as I'm doing this video today, the Bat Bitty Buddy is coming out and the Frankenstein Buddy Clip has coming out. So um, I need to get on there and order those. Now, this is the Jack-O-Lantern and the Spider, and they are both in Caramel Apple Craze um, scent. And I will first Oh, wait, first, let me show you the sides. I love the detail and the design. And on this one, too. So I'm going to pull out Jack-O-Lantern first. Oh, my goodness. Smells really, really good. A lot bigger than I thought he was going to be. I thought... It says itty bitty buddy, so I thought itty bitty, but this is quite bigger than I thought. So really loving that. I will set him in here so that we can keep looking at him. So cute. And then I will pull out Mr. Spider or Mrs. Spider. Oh, look at that. Again, pretty big bigger than I thought. Let me get the legs pulled out there. And again, smells just the same. Absolutely amazing. Let me put Mr. Spider right up there next to Mr. Jack-O-Lantern. And then one last thing from the Harvest Collection. I mean, I do have a lot of things I could show, but today this is all I'm going to show. So, um, I got my first diffuser uh, this year, last month. I'm not really big into the essential oil smells. For some reason, they just, they're not my thing. But I went ahead and ordered the Harvest Oil 3-Pack. And I said, I'm going to give this a try since I got my new diffuser. And let me tell you, I am in love with these scents. And I think my... I mean, I love them all, but I'll tell you my favorite in a minute. So the first one, uh, let's see if it'll focus. I don't think it's going to focus. But this first one here is Caramel Apple Crumble. And let me tell you, it really does smell like, like its name. And then the next one. Pumpkin Cinnamon Twist. 
And then the last one, which is my favorite, Golden Pear Nectar. I never knew I was a, a pear scent uh, person until this came out. So I'm absolutely in love with those scents. They're really, really good. And I'm excited to try out more of the oils and um, to show those off more often as well. So I hope you like this video. Please like, please subscribe. It'll help me out since I'm a new consultant and a new YouTuber. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Have a good day. There'll be more videos real soon.